We are now just 143 days away from the official release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker by writer and director J.J. Abrams and Chris Terrio, as well as creator George Lucas that is all set and ready to end the sequel trilogy and the Skywalker saga itself. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, what's really exciting about Episode 9 is that we do know that this film is going to really add in a lot of revelations, as well as twists and turns and surprises that will lead to saga-wide implications within the Skywalker saga, changing how we view the past eight Star Wars movies entirely. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film, and when it all comes down to one of the concept art descriptions, this is where things begin to get very exciting for Episode 9. Now, specifically, what's really intriguing about all of this is that a description of Rey entering the Lost City, where it is described that she is heading for the Lake of Dreams, which is said to be a place that holds a link or bridge to the beyond that was initiated by the Force Ghost of Anakin Skywalker years ago, that holds the origins of the dark and light side of the Force. Additionally, it's explained that while Rey meditates in the Lake of Dreams, while she floats, she is guided by Anakin Skywalker's Force Ghost, where she learns that it was the Prime Jedi himself who created the Jedi Code that is well known in the current canon material and the code that fans have known for many years. It said that the Prime Jedi was the first of the Order as we know it, and then Anakin reveals this to Rey. Additionally, it's described that one of the sequences in the third act of the film involves a far older version of Anakin's Force Ghost that fans have never seen before on the big screen, where he is said to be next to Luke Skywalker's Force Ghost, giving a lecture to Rey and Kylo Ren while they are all in the Netherworld. It's described that Anakin unveils that the Wills are the ones that not only created the galaxy, but the entire universe that surrounds all living beings, and that the Wills created the Force itself. So, let's go over a couple of parts about this. Now, the thing about Episode 9 is that we do know that J.J. Abrams is, of course, taking a lot of risks, as well as borrowing a lot of elements of George Lucas and his vision of the original trilogy that never made it to the final cut of Episodes 4, 5, and 6. So, the thing that really impresses me about this sequence is, well, the Lake of Dreams. We have a moment in which Rey is meditating in the Lake of Dreams, which is said to be based on a Legends concept, where she's inside of there and focusing on the Force itself, where Anakin guides her through the ways of the Force and reveals to Rey that the Prime Jedi was the first of the Order, and the one to create the Jedi Code as we know it. So the Order and the Jedi Code as we know it was created by the Prime Jedi himself. So that's a very interesting side of Star Wars because we all know the Jedi Code, right? It's a very well-known thing within canon material. And now we're learning a little bit more about how it was actually created through the Force Ghost voice of Anakin Skywalker whispering to Rey while she meditates in the Lake of Dreams. Now the other thing is this that really really catches me by surprise, involves the Wills. Now, the Wills are these godlike beings that were created by George Lucas back in the 70s and 80s, where they are now going to have a nice reference, multiple references, by the way, in The Rise of Skywalker. So, in this scenario, uh, it's Anakin's Force Ghost, a far older version of Anakin that we have never seen before on the big screen. We've heard about this being used uh, for a very long time now in Episode 9. A older version of Anakin that appears as if he is in his 70s, where he unveils to both Rey and Kylo Ren during their time in another world, while Luke Skywalker is using a power that allows both Rey and Kylo Ren to witness what the another world looks like. In this very moment, Anakin unveils to Kylo and Rey that it was the Wills themselves who created not just the galaxy, but the universe itself and even the Force. So, what's exciting about this is that it shows how important the Wills really are. The Wills are these godlike beings that watch over everything related to the Star Wars franchise. Regardless of its time frame, they have been around for pretty much forever. And what I like about that is, like, they're almost like the living version of the Big Bang. They are the ones who created the universe and the galaxy itself and watch over all the events that happen from start to finish that pretty much is endless, and they are also responsible for creating the Beyond itself. Now, we're still not quite sure exactly what the Beyond really is. It might be a different realm, it might be a different dimension, or a different galaxy for all we know, but nonetheless, Anakin Skywalker revealing these elements within the Netherworld of the Force is a very interesting side and angle to the Star Wars franchise that will truly make us view the past eight films in a different light. 
Now, with that being said, we do know now that we are only 143 days away. We also know that we are now less than one month away from the next trailer, which is when we are finally going to see new footage of this film. We're going to get the official synopsis, the official poster, new images. August is going to be a great month for The Rise of Skywalker, so keep your calendar open for that. And what's really great about this film is that we do know that it's going to have a lot of Jedi, Sith, and Force lore in this movie that's really going to open our eyes of how we view Star Wars as a franchise. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all this in the comments and if you guys did enjoy the content for today do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel i thank you all so very much for the kind support and i'll catch you guys next time